making your e-commerce store shopify woocommerce wix <laughs> Hello, my name is Ross Turner, aka Mr. Turner, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stumbling upon this lovely video. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers, and I would love to hit that before the end of this year. So smash that subscribe button, road to 10k, absolutely make my year. Now, you see the title, we are talking about your e-commerce store, getting started with it. I just want to give you a warning. This is not a full tutorial. This is just a start, just to show you that it can be fairly simple to set up your first store there are definitely a lot more steps before the step that I'm going to show you so if you want to learn how to make a full website you can have a look at my course but there are definitely a lot of tutorials four hour tutorials six hour tutorials on how to set up your e-commerce store whether that be Shopify Wix or WooCommerce so I'm not holding you back or stopping you at all go check it out in fact I will leave a link in the description down below on how to to set up your Shopify account or set up your WooCommerce store. But where I come in is I'm from South Africa, you are from South Africa, and most of these tutorials are from America. So I will give you my perspective on set up a store. I don't wanna to take too much of your time, but if you do want me to do a full four hour, six hour tutorial on how to set up your own shop, then let me know by smashing that like button. I've just been struggling with work and doing tutorials, so I will have to do it over a weekend or so, so let me know by leaving a like and I'll either do it this weekend or the following weekend and let you have it because as you know, what do you know? It's there, it's like right there on the tip of my brain. Come on. Black Friday is coming up and if you want to get started, there is no doubt that you can get an e-commerce platform running your first store within 24 hours. So there's no doubt about that. Obviously the payment system, sign up to PayFast, UPay or any payment system that you choose, that does take some time and actually takes, uh, sometimes it takes around five days. They have to confirm all your details and stuff. Some people have managed to set that up within two days, but yeah, that's the only thing that takes long. Let me not take too much of your time. You can have a look at this video smash the like hello and welcome to this short tutorial in today's video the aim is to show you how to get a product onto WooCommerce but first let's take this moment to thank each and every single one of you for smashing that like button on the previous video our goal was a hundred and I think we are so close to it we are on 65 right now so thank you so much to all of you for the support all right the purpose of this video is not to show you which is the best platform but rather to show you that it's not difficult to get started e-commerce is a word that we've heard a lot of times and i'm sure some of you have seen some of these big names shopify woocommerce and of course we cannot forget wix how many wix adverts have we seen in fact if there is a wix advert on top of this on my youtube video hit a like button now you can come and have a look at this url i'll leave it in the link down below and you can compare all these different sites and see which one is the best pick for you i'll have a look at shopify and tell you that shopify is like the words of e-commerce platforms reason being is woocommerce and shopify they all sell eggs, milk, and bread, meaning they sell the same things, but Shopify sells it at the premium. You're definitely paying for their services, like they do do a lot, but I've noticed that with Shopify, there are certain plugins that will offer a free trial for seven days, and if you don't make money after that seven days, and you still need to utilize that plugin, you gotta pay, and sometimes you gotta pay a hefty amount. That's why I really like WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a lot easier for me to set up my products, my pages, and it's really nice to Design. I really don't like Shopify's back end, but that might just be my own preference because I've been working with WordPress and WooCommerce for some time. All right, let's get into the WordPress WooCommerce 
store. Now, before we get into this, I have created a course on how to make your own WordPress website. In fact, the website that I made in my course, which I'll leave a link in the description down below, I teach you how to make this beautiful website. It's a four hour course and it's a Udemy course. So go ahead if you're interested to learn how to make a website like this. I must tell you that there is no e-commerce addition to it. So it's just making a, a basic website. Okay, that's enough being said. I hope you enjoy the rest of this mini tutorial. We are on WooCommerce. And in fact, this is my old website that I started in 2016. It never came to fruition because I couldn't get some capital to start up this small business. Uh, but back then I thought I needed a ton of money. I thought I needed 50,000 Rand for products, setting this up. But in reality, all I need is money for adverts and products. But I have another store where I sell my goods and I don't use this anymore. So this will be used in the example of this video. In fact, Drop Store, which is a hundred rand a month, use this theme in their website and they give you a fully loaded website and it is called Flatsim. All right, before we can even get to this point, we need to have a domain. Now you can get a domain on Afrihost and there are some other hosting services out there. I just prefer Afrihost because I've had no issue with Afrihost in the past. I don't want to go through the tutorial of making a domain or buying your first domain because I actually have one on the site. So I have a card up here where you can find my tutorial on getting your domain set up. Let's go ahead and close these tabs. And now we only have our back end. Okay, so there are a ton of steps before you can even get to this place. In fact, if you've just come from buying a domain and you've set up your WordPress account, then WooCommerce doesn't come standard with your WordPress account. How you add WooCommerce into your store is you'll go to plugins, add new. And you go to the search and you'll look for WooCommerce. As you can see, I have it already and some of you may have this this plugin doesn't work for the version of PHP don't worry you can just go to Afrihost on whatsapp whatsapp them and say please update my PHP and they will do it for you I won't do this right now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a product for you so you can just see the basic steps of getting started so go to the left products add new all right we want to give our product a name let's call it Let's call it Mr. Turner Selling Plumber. Perfect. Let's get a picture for it to the right hand side. Set product image. As you can see, these are the type of products that I used to sell in the store. Let's go ahead and choose any old image here. Now on the right hand side, we can have a look at some meta description that we could add for our SEO. We can add in our alt text, which will help us rank a little higher on Google images, but we don't need to do that for now. Right now, we're just getting the basics out of the way. So we hit set product image. We can assign it to a category. So I'm going to assign it to a general shop. At the bottom over here for your product short description, I'm going to put in delivery. I'm going to put the delivery there. Let's sell the product for 1 million and let's give it a sale of sale price 900 okay then we can have a look at shipping the weight the dimensions and we can assign a shipping class so each time the customer has to put in their delivery details it'll work out the how much the shipping is according to what you've set at standard. But again, this is just a soft introduction to what WooCommerce can do. There are a lot of options for you. In fact, you can change this product to a downloadable product. You can change it to a variable product, or as we have done, we're just making it a simple product. All right, so we've got our price here. Let's go ahead and put in a description. This is a great, Perfect. Now it's easy as one, two, three. We click publish. 
we go to the top over here and visit our site right click open link in new tab scroll down and here is our product click on it we can add as many as we want add to cart check out okay there it is 3.6 million I'm going to be either very broke or very rich at the same time because this is my store now I have linked PayFast to it so I can definitely go ahead and place the order and that's basically it for the soft introduction to setting up your product on the store all right I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it because I truly love making videos and thank you thank you thank you I cannot thank you guys enough for always supporting and all the comments as well really makes my day so once again thank you so much and remember to stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day cheers